that I think school should be considering. And uh, what's nice about the diagram as well is that it also, on top of uh, sort of sharing the things you should be considering, it talks about what might happen if you choose to not consider some of these things. So, you know, if, if you consider all those things across the top, and uh, I'll spend a moment explaining those briefly, but vision, I mean, Philip has um, articulated that very well already, so I won't repeat that, but uh, community is how do you engage with uh, the wider community from office staff to parent bodies to uh, local community uh, um, in, in the, in the um, location that your school or, or uh, um, college is based. The next thing to consider is the team you've got around you because you, you can't do any of these things in isolation and often school leaders actually aren't in the best place uh, to um, know some of the things they need to know in order to make it work in your school. So. You know, think carefully about the people you have wrapped around you. Where are your Philippers in the school who can, who can, who can take the mantle and run with it, given the experience that they've got? And where are your champions? And uh, and where do your students fit in? What is what is the student body going to do to feed into the conversation? I think involving students is super important. And obviously, all these things cost money. So where's the money going to come from? Is what you're choosing to do sustainable? It's all very well and good buying a whole load of technology right now, but what about in three, four years' time when you need to re re refresh all of that and review where you're at and what you do? Doing. and the next one's around the environment and an environment doesn't necessarily mean um our, uh, infrastructure like you know your wi-fi and access points and that sort of thing it can be classrooms do you need to have classrooms that are uh, set up where children can go off into corners and do work on green screening activities or do uh, some stop frame animation uh, or, or these sorts of things if you forget cpd then obviously you know you, you're already um if you've missed any of the others out you're, you're looking at a, a few issues but if you miss that cpd staff are going to be really anxious and and often you know with, with, with lots of schools you, you have the pd the initial inspiration but where's the c part of it it's so important uh, to, to reinforce that idea of making mm -hmm. sure that what you do is continual uh, and it doesn't just happen in isolation so how can you consider uh, those sort of things and how you're going to map that out across your school year, your, your terms, your weeks, your days, how does it fit into, into meetings, so forth and so on. And the next one is about measurement. It's so important that you actually know where you're trying to get to, what, what are your targets, what you're trying to achieve with it. Some of that can be qualitative, but some of it might just be quantitative. Uh, and so, you know, what are those things? And, and benchmarking those at the beginning will help you to better reflect back and see how far you've actually come on that digital learning journey within your school. And then the final part, and obviously technology can, can help in lots of ways. It can reduce costs and, and so forth and so on. But in a Michael Fullen world where we put pedagogy first, how is it that this technology is going to have any impact or uh, improvements in learning and standards within your organisation, within your school? So. If you take those and you remove some of them, if you don't consider learning, then you failed. If you don't measure things, how do you know if you've been successful? If you don't make sure the environment is right, then it can be frustration. Um, if you haven't got the right team around you and you're articulating things correctly with your team, then people are confused. If you don't involve the community, you get resistance. If the vision isn't clear, then you get false starts, don't know where you're going. You know, all, all, all these sort of things. So um, people often say to me, Wolfgang, um, you know, uh, um, what is the Mark Anderson sort of you know plan for getting all this mm. stuff working? But the thing is, I can provide prompts for consideration, but like like Philip has alluded to, and in, in things you've said as well, Wolfgang. Every school is different. Every context is different. Um, every school's improvement plan, development plan, community is all different. Just like no two children are the same, no two classes are ever the same. It's all different. So having these kind of signposts to uh, inform your reflective thinking about where you're at on that journey. Uh, I've always found it's a really great starting point for conversations with school leaders and, and those uh, seeking to embed digital and have a strong digital strategy in their school um, so that you can have the thinking and then frame it within the context of your own organisation.